All right, Shalom. We give our praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'asham, Rakakodash. The Ba'alas to the Apostles and Elders, the Great Millstone, the leaders of Israel, um, peace and blessings to the elect, the sincere Akim, Wa Akwathim, the sincere brothers and sisters that's out there um, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. Title this video. Um, just gonna be real kind of quick. Um, the title of this video is um, Seek the Lord. You know, we gotta seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because time is running out. You know what I'm saying? You know, martial law could be here any day. You know, the government shutdown is still intact. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for that. You know, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah for that. The government is still shut down, you know. Within these next few months, you know, hell can break loose at any time, you know. So we gotta we gotta seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah where where he can't be while he can't be found. Still, you know what I'm saying? You know, we can't take this truth for granted. You know, we gotta seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Um, I want to get that verse. So I yeah, I just had to find it real quick. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna start off with Isaiah chapter fifty-five, verse six. It says, "Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found." Call ye upon him while he is near. You see, so call upon call upon Yahweh Shem Yahshah, who where he calls God, call upon so called God while he's near. You know, the prophets are out. So that means he's he's telling us to warn the people and that's what we're doing. You know, so you gotta seek him while he can still be found. He can still be found, you know. Cause while like it says in Isaiah, you know, while we're still out there, you know, prophecies are still being fulfilled. And ultimately, you know, you can you can still take heed to this truth because it's, as it says in Revelation 7 and 4, you know, it says, Hurt not the earth until the, until the elect, the 144K, are sealed. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, so... Yeah, I might as well just get this through the spirit. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. I'm going to start at 11. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 11. It says, get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of, of Israel to cease before us. Wherefore, thus saith, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, the, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. You know, so our iniquities, you know, Our iniquities are, are tearing, is tearing Israel down, you know. So it says we're like a breach ready to fall, you know, like a branch ready to fall, you know, because our sins, you know, is, is we getting ready to fall, you know what I'm saying? You know, and we, that's why our two thirds got to be destroyed, you know. And uh, we trust, we, we despise this word, you know, they despise the prophets. You know, we despise the word, you know, and we ultimately we trust in oppression because you, we, you don't like the fact that you're the chosen one. That's how you know you're, you're a slave because you don't like the fact that you're chosen in every other nation besides the so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, you know, and the confusion of face, you know, but, but the black Spanish and Native Americans, you know, 
if you, you don't like the fact that if you're not uh, one of us, then you, you, you're you going to be a slavery and you're going to be a captive. You know, you're going to be pretty much a slave in the kingdom. You know, two thirds of our people, they don't like that because they trust in oppression. You know, they trust in this, they trust in a so-called white man. They trust in this society, you know, so. I mean, that's another one. Um, you know, they trust in that oppression, man. I have it written down in the next video, but but this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. It says, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You know, so... You know, all, although the prophets, we going through adversity, we know we still going to go out through these highways and byways and preach this word, you know, because, because the Lord, he said, you, you're going to see his teachers, you know, so there's no excuse for, for when he destroys you, there's no excuse because you've seen the teachers, you know, it's either you walked by and didn't care or, or, um, you know, you just want to do your own thing, you know? Let me see if I can get one out of Proverbs. <laughs> yeah, this is all pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to start at 10. All right, Proverbs chapter 3, verse, verse 10, it says, So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, you know, that correction. You know, that word chastening goes to, um, uh, damn, I just looked up the other day, but, it, um, just to roughly paraphrase it, you know, it's, it's correction, you know, for a problem, you know, correction for the, for the better, for the better of yourself, you know. Just to roughly paraphrase and give you a better understanding, you know, it says, "My son, does despise not the chastening, the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction." You know, so don't don't get tired of 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 the correction. You know what I'm saying? You put a, a scripture say, you know, "Be ye there, therefore perfect." You know. So don't get tired of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh um, him correcting you. You know, we not to be weary of weary of his correction, being tired of his correction. You know, and that ultimately leads to what being prideful and you um having that do as thou wilt mentality, like these Christians, so called Christians. You know. I want to get another one, but I'm just finish this out. Um, it says, "For whom the Lord loveth, He correcteth." You know, so if you get corrected by Yahweh, show me Yahweh Shah. You know, He, you know, you know, He loves you. You know, and if you love Him back, you're gonna to listen to His correction. You know, it goes hand in hand. 
it says, even as a father of the son in whom he delighteth. You know, so, okay, so these women, you know, if they, they, they always say, oh, I love, I love God. You know, I love uh, so-called Jesus. You know, but what do y'all try himself say? If you love me, keep my commandments. You know, so we can't, just because it's it's really a lot of fake love going out here that that fraud and that in the scripture that's called forward you know that forwardness you know, it's kind of hard to pronounce but that forwardness you know that fraud you know that's that's against y'all about showing you outside you're not dealing with with people that's fraud you know what I'm saying you're gonna be you're gonna be sniffed out by the spirit and you're gonna be you're gonna be out this truth you know what I'm saying if you're a fraud in this thing you know um verse 13 though it says happy is the man that findeth wisdom you know the man that giveth and the man that giveth understanding you know how you get that wisdom you know you ought to you have to get it from the heavenly father okay um uh like it says in the scripture I'm not going to pull it but like it says in the scripture you ask you shall receive you know, you ask for wisdom, he's going to give it to you freely, you know. It says, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof of fine gold. So you get wisdom, you know, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter and the fifth verse, you know, let me just, let me just go get it real quick. It says, Wisdom of Solomon 8, verse 5 says, If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? You know, what's richer than wisdom? You know, that's how the Heavenly Father, that's how He made this earth by His wisdom. You know, I think it says it in there, but, um, or is that in Psalms? Uh, Lord willing, I can get it. Um, verse 15, it says, She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not, thou canst, canst desire are not to be compared unto her. You know, so uh, nothing in this world that we desire, you know, is better than wisdom. You know, wisdom to understand all things, you know, that wisdom to be able to read people's minds, you know, to be able to read what their heart is really thinking, you know, the heart being a mind, you know, that's the kind of wisdom that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he has, you know, they have, you know, they got that, they got the wisdom, they got the ultimate, the ultimate thing that's to be desired in life, they have it. And, you know, and they offer it to us freely. You know, all we got to do is seek them. You know, but it's easier said than done, obviously. You know, we wouldn't be where we was at now if it, was, if it wasn't easier said than done. You know, but it's definitely doable. Uh, like the commandments say, you know, um, keep my commandments and they are not grievous. You know, have faith. You know, stand stiffly for the name. You know what I'm saying? Um, verse 16, it says, Lift of days is in her right hand, you know, and in her left hand, riches and honor. You know, so in the right hand of wisdom, you know, and wisdom dwells within the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, you know, so really, ultimately, this is in his hands, you know. It says length of days is in our right hand. So, right, it's not Yahweh, the ancient of days, like it says in Daniel, the seventh chapter and the ninth verse. You know, the ancient of days, you know, and in her left hand, riches and honor, you know. So, that's why riches and honor is not going to be compared to wisdom because you get that. That's just perks of having that wisdom, you know. That's why it's on the left hand, you know. But the right hand is what? Length of days. You can live forever with wisdom. You know, but wisdom is too high for a fool, you know. 
her verse 17 her ways her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace okay you know so seek seek y'all about shimmy outside in these last days man you got the government shut down you know Trust in your how about Shem Shah. It's the perfect time to just trust in your how about Shem Shah and not the government. You know, your how your how about Shem Shah. They he's ultimately shutting this government down for you, Jakes, man. To get your mind right, you know. Some people are going to be waking up during this government shutdown. You know. Uh, yeah, Proverbs chapter two and verse. We'll start at nine. Now I'm gonna start at seven. Now I'm gonna start at Slocky. I'm gonna start at five. I'm gonna start at four, Slocky. Proverbs chapter two, verse four. If thou seekest her as silver and searches and searches for her as for hid treasures, this talk about wisdom. Then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh, and find the knowledge of God. You know, so we gotta, you know, like 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 we um, like we grind hard for the for for the um, Federal Reserve note that paper, the um, so called money in this society. You know, like we grind hard for that, we go through all types of obstacles just for money. You know, you know the same way we seek that. You know. Have that same energy towards your how about Shimmy I was shy. And then you're gonna find this thing called wisdom, you know, that knowledge and that understanding. You know, it says, For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his out of out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding, you know. And where is and the Lord he's speaking through the, through these scriptures. You know, that's why these scriptures are so hard to understand. You know, the average Joe, they can't pick up the Bible and understand Genesis, you know. You know, they don't understand that they can't understand the fact that the earth wasn't made in set of in seven literal days. It was made um, in time periods, thousands of years. You know, that's why it says in Genesis, the second chapter, I believe, you know, it says these are the generations of the heavens and the earth, roughly paraphrasing, you know, because it took generations for Yahweh about, for um, Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai to create the earth. You know, Yahweh, he gave the power to Yahweh Shai, you know, and Yahweh Shai and the and the elect, the elect angels, the holy angels, you know, they made the um heaven and earth. You know, Lord willing, we part of the elect number. You know, we 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 was there with Yahweh Shai, creating the earth. You know, if you could receive it. Um, but verse seven, he says, he led up, low and Lord willing, I can do a video, on um. Lord will I, Lord Lord willing I can do a video on on the genesis on Genesis, you know, just about um the fact that the elect we was with Yahweh Shah, you know. But um back to this. Um Proverbs two and, f and verse seven it says, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. Okay? The righteous are the saints, and the saints are Israel, the black sinners and Native Americans. He lived up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler 
for them that walk, that walk uprightly. So if we seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you know, he's he's our cover. Okay, he's like our bodyguard. You know, you know we don't have to if we walking uprightly, keeping these law statutes commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we really don't, we don't got nothing to worry about really. You know, we we gotta worry about this hour of temptation that's gonna come. But you know, ultimately, we have faith. The elect, we got faith that, you know, even if we do die for His name's sake, that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be right back, you know, and ultimately be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. You know, so. And Yahweh Shai didn't give us the, that, Yahweh 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 Shai didn't give us the spirit of fear, you know, He gave us a sound mind, okay. Um, verse 8, he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the ways of his saints. You, okay, you see, he preserves the ways. You know, he's, <clears throat> he's pretty much our, our bodyguard of his saints. You know, going back to Psalms 148, verse 14, the saints are Israel, okay? It says, verse 9, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yeah, every good path. Okay. See that's what having that wisdom from from the most high, you know you get you get you know how to um how to have discretion, you know, the ability to choose um uh, right or wrong, okay? Um, verse 10, it says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. You know, that discretion, you know, that ability to know what's right and wrong, you know, that preserves us, you know. We not make we not out here making dumb decisions like going to the club, you know, um, being around with all those spirits, you know, hanging around two thirds too much, you know, being wise as a serpent, you know, not broadcasting yourself out to the media or anything like that, you know. We still go to the highways and byways, you know. Because we got to make foolproof of our ministry, but we ought to be wise as serpents, especially in these last days, you know. Don't be carnal out here trying to beat Esau at his blessing, you know, thinking you're going to take down Esau with his blessing, okay? So we got to have that discretion. Uh, verse 12 says, to deliver, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh froward things, you know, that fraud, you know, really like a like a fake nigga. Okay? Like these pastors, these false pastors. Like it says in Jeremiah um, twenty three and one, woe to the pastors that, that scatter the sheep, man. It's destruction. Thus saith thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah to these um these these froward men that speaking these froward things, okay? Verse thirteen says, Who leave the path who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, yo, okay? That's these fraud men. You know, they they leave the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. You know, and they speak these False things, okay? Let me read verse 12 again. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths of the uprightness to walk in the ways of the darkness. Okay, it's a scary thing to be bugged out, you know, by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, ultimately, to be bugged out and go back into darkness where you once came to the light, you know? That's not that's not something you wanna you want to happen to you because it's scary, you know. You, you already know you're gonna be put to death. Okay? 
unless the Lord brings you back into the fold. You know, like it says in Luke 9 and 62, you know, no man is fit for the kingdom of, of, of God if he puts his hand to the plow and look back, roughly paraphrasing, you know. So we can't be looking back in this thing. We got to, you know, stay on that straight and that straight gate. You know, verse 14 says, who, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked. You know, they, they delight in the lies. They, they, they rejoice um, doing evil. Okay? They, they enjoy having sex with another man's wife. They, they enjoy um, cutting their private area right off and being a transgender. You know, they, they, transgenders, they proud. Okay? They enjoy um, smoking weed. Okay? They, they enjoy uh, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> okay, they they um they rejoice to do evil, and they delight in the f in the fraudness of the wicked, the frowardness. Okay, whose ways are crooked, and they froward and that and they froward in their paths. Okay, they f it's like a like a false false illusion. Okay, those those vain dreams. You know that's how that's how two thirds of our people they they live in a false false reality, and their ways are crooked. Okay, I'm gonna jump down to verse twenty. Proverbs two and twenty says that thou mayest walk in the way of good men. So I care. I'm going to start at 17. Which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again. Neither take thy hold, neither take they hold of the paths of life. Okay, so these women, you know, these women can... They can they can um they can trick you up, slip you up, you know. Um, that's why you gotta have that wisdom to be able to have that discretion. Um, verse twenty it says that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it. Okay, so we have to strive to be perfect. You know, the upright, we're going to be dwelling in that land, you know, that was promised to our fathers. Okay? Two-thirds, they ultimately going to be rejoined, you know, through our loins. You know, but you want to have them, them first fruits. Okay? Verse 22 says, But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. You see? The wicked, you're going to be cut off, man. That's why these missiles going to hit your head. You're going to be cut off. You know, ultimately, you're going to be cleansed. And like I said, you're going to come back. But you're going to be cut off also. You know, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. You know, the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. I was talking about you Edomites, man. You Edomites, y'all you, gonna have a thousand years in slavery, then y'all gonna be done for. Cast out. Okay? Um, yeah, so we gotta, you know, we gotta seek, seek y'all about Shemi al Shai. No, he's not slack in his coming. Okay, so we gotta seek, seek him where he may be found because, hey, the internet, that's the main. That's the main source for the for the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai being pushed out. Okay, so once this internet is shut down, you know, hey, you we know the time is near. Once this internet is shut down, it says Romans, it's like it, Amos chapter eight verse eleven it says, "Behold, the days come," say of the, say of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That I will send a famine in the land, 
not a famine of bread, nor a famine of for thirst, but of hearing the words of of the Lord. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a shortage of hearing the word of Yahweh Shem You know, that's like martial law. No, we're not gonna be out there no highways and byways no more doing martial law. Okay. You know, the internet, like I said, is going to be shut down. You know, you're not going to be able to hear the Lord. You're not going to be able to hear hear the words of the Lord through his prophets anymore. You know, you're going to have to ultimately be able to learn this thing on your own. Or not even that, you're going to have to be able to just be able to maneuver with the wisdom and knowledge that you got. Okay. No, it's gonna be a famine, a famine of that word. Okay. You know, so we gotta, we gotta seek you. How about Shemiah Shai, man? Wait, while he can't be found, you know, our time is, the time is ticking. You know, the time is definitely ticking. Um, let me see if I can get any more verses. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to close out with this, Lord willing. Uh, Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay. I'm going to just read verse 12. It says, it says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Okay, yes, man, we gotta, these scriptures are really speaking, man. We gotta, it's hard time to awake out of this sleep, Yasharala. You, you, you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, it is high time for y'all to wake out of sleep because our salvation is near. We just had the blood moon, okay? We just had the blood moon, you know, things, the government is shut down. You know, these race wars are starting to build up. Like Esau, he had the Hebrew Israelites on CNN, okay? And that so-called, and the so-called white, that was so-called white boy, that Edomite and that so-called Native American, okay? That's, that was staged, but that's also... Prophecy because nations shall rise against nation. Okay? These Edomites are gonna come for us. You know, that's why they putting this bad this bad name on the Hebrew Israelites because they think that we are a threat to the society. Okay, so it's our high time to wake out of sleep, man. And we gotta cast off the works of darkness, cast off sin, you know, and put on that armor of light, put on these commandments, you know, spiritually. Okay? We not to be trying to do some wicked things in these in these last days because we're gonna be giving an account for for everything that we've done, okay? And I wanna get, I'm just get Acts since I brought up the blood moon. I think it's Acts. Yeah. yeah, Acts chapter two verse twenty says, "The sun shall be turned into darkness." And the moon into blood, okay, that blood moon, before the before that great and notable day of the Lord come, okay. See that that blood moon. That's a great and notable. That's a sign of the great and notable day that the Lord is coming back. And I can't wait to see y'all about Shemmy Alshai come back. And just so I can have that, I told you so, you know. I'm going to be laughing, okay? Just like the scriptures say, we're going to be laughing. Lord, we're not part of that number, you know? Verse 21, it says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I'm going to read that again. Verse 21, and it, shall, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 22 
ye men of Israel, hear these words. Okay? So whoever of y Yasharala that calls upon the name, the name of the Lord shall be saved. And what's his name? Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, verse 22, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shah of Nazareth, of Nazareth, Salakia, a man approved of God among you by among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Okay, so God he gave Yahweh he gave us Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he did all these wonderful works for us, he died for us. You know, as it says in Acts five and five and thirty one. He gave repentance to Israel. He allowed us to, he, he he died for a sacrifice unto us. Okay? And he's he's in the midst of us, of Israel. You know, nobody else. Okay? Let's see if I can get anything else. Yeah, I'm going to get one more slacky. I know I said I'm going to close it up, but just do the spirit. Um... Uh, let me get two more so I can. Uh, Book of Brute, chapter 4, verse 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from, from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So we got to go hard, you know, for your how about shim, you know, we was going off. We wasn't serving him, but now that we he opened us up to this truth, you know, seek him ten times more. Okay? And I'm going to close out with, with this verse, Lord willing. Second Chronicles chapter fifteen and verse twelve. Second Chronicles chapter fifteen verse twelve, and they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. Okay, so we gotta we have to seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with in truth and in sincerity with our with our whole mind and our whole soul. You know, going. Going like that last verse just said, going ten times harder for him. Okay? Verse 13, this is the point. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel. Okay, this is the Lord God of Israel. You know? He's not the Lord God of the whole world. Okay? Let me read verse 13 again. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. See, the Lord, he don't play, man. He's going to be put to death, whether small or great. So whether you're poor or whether you got money, you, you're going to be put to death if you don't seek the Lord, the Lord God of Israel. Okay? Not this, not that Christian, that Christian so-called God, you know, not Serapis, JC, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Those are the names and those are you got to seek. You know, the truth of these scriptures that the Hebrew Israelites are pushing, predominantly um, uh, GMS, okay? If you're not seeking the Lord, if you're not seeking Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah of these scriptures, you know, you're going to be put to death. And that's death said of the Lord. You know, whether you're small or great, whether you're rich or poor, you know, you're going to be put to death if you don't seek Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Whether a man or a woman, so whether you're a, fair, a male or a female, you, you know, you're going to be put to death if you don't seek the Lord God of Israel. You know, plain and simple, you're going to be put to death, man. You know? You know, so, man, Lord willing, y'all can hear these, y'all can hear the trumpet in these last days, okay? Let me see if I can get a script on that um, trumpet. Like the sound of the trumpet. I think that's it in Ezekiel. Salakia.
Okay, I think I'm going to get this one, yeah. Okay, because we blowing that trumpet, you know, spiritually. It's all pretty good, man. I'm just start at verse 1. Ezekiel 33 and verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak on, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. Okay? Because we gotta we gotta watch. We gotta be a watchman. You know, for um, Israel, you know, like right now, spiritually, we're watchmen. You know, we're watching for these prophecies and all that, you know, and we're warning other people as watchmen before this um, this second death comes by nuclear fire. Okay. Uh, verse 3, it says, If if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Okay, so that's what we got to do, man. We got to... We got to blow this trumpet, you know, because we see the destruction finna hit. So we trying to blow the trumpet and warn the people, you know, spiritually. Verse 4 says, Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Okay, so we taking the blood. Ultimately, we doing the work, you know. And... And another thing, we taking the blood off our hands, and now it's on your head. You know, if you don't listen, so be it. After, like, like it says in Titus, after this second and third admonition, reject. So you're gonna, re you're gonna just reject you if you don't um, accept this truth. And like it says in Matthew, you know, dust off the feet. Okay, a prophet is not, it's not even um, a prophet in his own country. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. You know, so we getting the blood off our hands and the blood is on your own head. You know, in verse five, it says he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. OK, see. You taking heed to these scriptures, getting to know how are you, how shy, man, you delivering your soul, man. OK. Verse six. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hands. Okay? So, you not warn the people, thus says the Lord, you know, that blood is going to be on your hands. You no, know, you in sin, you going off. Okay, you're not warning people about don't take the mark of the beast because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he said in the 14th chapter of Revelation in the, in the ninth verse that whoever has that mark, you know, you're going to be in the cup of the mixture of his damnation, roughly paraphrasing, you know. There's no repentance for that mark, you know. So don't just tell your people that, oh, don't get it because I ain't going to get it, you know, something in that sense. You know, tell them. Tell them that it's a commandment of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as it says in the scriptures. Okay? You know, we gotta we gotta warn our people of everything, you know. Get the blood off our hands. I'm gonna just read verse 7, and that's it. Um, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay? We're watchmen for the so called black Spanish and Native Americans. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Okay, that's what we do. That's why we go out to the highways and byways. And that's why we do these videos, man, because we're warning the people. Okay? That we got to seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Seek Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. You know, that's the title of this video. Seek Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh about Shem Yahusha, Wahawar Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. To the next lesson, I say Shalom.